Fox News host Sean Hannity late Friday urged President Trump not to fire anyone in the wake of a New York Times report that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein had proposed secretly taping conversations in the Oval Office last year. The Times report said that Rosenstein also discussed initiating a process laid out by the 25th Amendment to remove Trump from office, something that the No. 2 Justice Department official denied in a statement on Friday. I have a message for the president tonight. Under zero circumstances, should the president fire anybody, Hannity, a vocal ally of Trump, said during his program. They are hoping and praying that the president does just that, that he gets mad, that he gets sick and tired of it and turn it into a scandal, Hannity added. Hannity suggested the sources for the story are part of a deep state, a conspiracy theory that a secret network of government officials are actively working to undermine the president's agenda. The deep state tonight is crumbling from within at this very hour. They're now turning against each other, the Fox host said. Rosenstein on Friday quickly blasted the Times report, calling it inaccurate. He issued a second statement saying that he never pursued or authorized recording the president and any suggestion that I have ever advocated for the removal of the president is absolutely false. Other media outlets have reported that Rosenstein was speaking sarcastically when he made reported comments about using a wire in the Oval Office. Rosenstein oversees special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia and obstruction of justice. Trump has slammed the probe as a witch hunt and reports have said that he has desired to end the investigation on numerous occasions. Rosenstein's firing could pave the way for Trump to fire Mueller a move likely to cause significant backlash in Washington and what some politicians say would cause a constitutional crisis. Trump is known to watch Hannity's show and was interviewed by him at a rally in Las Vegas on Thursday night.